This is Gaia's vault. It is claimed to be the best Minecraft prison in the world. Why? Well, you see, a couple months ago, the Dream SMP server built a prison called Pandora's Vault and said that this prison was inescapable. That was until people like me had found a way to escape. So a month later, someone decided to fix it and make a better prison called Poseidon's Vault. But soon enough, someone escaped that prison as well. So again, a newer, better prison was made, which also got escaped. And then someone made a newer prison and someone escaped that. And a newer prison and a newer prison. Fast forward today. We have the newest prison, Gaia's Vault. And since it has fixed the mistakes of all the other prisons, this is the most advanced prison in the entire world. It is the epitome of Minecraft redstoning. It did things I didn't even know were possible in Minecraft. But despite that, I decided I would take on this challenge and try to escape it. Because you see, the person who built this prison, Sin Sven, said he was willing to show me around the prison. So in this video, I'm going to get the owner to give me a tour and lock me up in Gaia's vault so I can escape it right in front of his very eyes. This is escaping Gaia's vault. Okay, so I needed a plan. If I was going to escape this prison, I needed to first take a look at the prison design and then learn the prison security process for my tour with Sin Sven. And since I only have 30 minutes right now before I have to meet up with Sin Sven, I'm going to get started right now with step one, the prison design. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's huge. That's bigger than I thought it was. That's so huge. Okay, what I meant to say was that the prison was huge. I mean, just standing next to it made me look like a speck. But anyways, I decided to go into spectator mode so I could fly straight through the prison and see what was really inside. And when I did, I was surprised at what I saw, because if I'm being honest, it looked like someone just spammed a bunch of blocks and called it a prison. I'm not kidding, it was made out of the most random blocks ever, it, it didn't make any sense. Like these beacons, which are only obtainable through killing the hardest boss in Minecraft, or, or these end crystals, I, I thought these were only meant to blow up or heal the ender dragon. What are they doing in a prison? I was also confused that, what were the end crystals even connected to? Like God? Like, is this prison some sort of ritual in disguise? But since I was lost, I decided to do some research, and I soon found out why people said this prison was so good. The obsidian walls were filled with lava and water that generate more blocks when someone is breaking through. The beacons were placed to slow down enderpo glitching, and the end crystals are actually invincible. You can't break or place anything near these, and the whole prison is filled with them. I still don't know what they're connected to though. And to top it all off, there's all the guardians that give mining fatigue all around the prison. Right off the bat, I was starstruck at how complex this thing was, and I hadn't even looked at the security process yet. At this point, the next step was to go take a look at the security process with Sin Sven. However, I still had 10 minutes left before our meetup, so in the meantime, I wanted to try testing the prison by blowing it up with over 100,000 TNT. Okay, this is going to absolutely crash my PC, but three, two, one. Let me just say, that explosion was crazy. I had never seen any TNT explosion like it. There was TNT flying everywhere, exploding every second, and the best part was the sound. After waiting for what felt like an hour for it to stop, I checked to see how much damage it all did. And as you can guess, it did nothing. The obsidian had blocked all of the TNT. At this point, it was time to meet up with Sin Sven for our tour. And now that I learned the prison design, it was time to learn the prison process. All right. Hey, right, yeah. Uh, oh man, yeah, How's I can see him. How's it going? The plan was for Sin Sven, the owner of this prison, to take me through the prison and lock me up. This way, I can see exactly how the security process works. And here it is. The first step is to wait for the guard to ignite the portal. You can't go and ignite it yourself because if you do, you'll be caught in a trapped portal where you are stuck forever. Once you enter, you go through a tunnel full of end crystals where you get to the first bed gate, where you set your spawn point so you can be killed to make sure you have no items. Uh, wait, what do I have to do? Uh, out to bed. What I have to do? You don't okay, even wait. know. Once you spawn on the other side, you then go through the hallway, which takes a bit of time because of the water slowing you down. Once you make it past the hallway, you then go through the one person door, where it can detect if there's an extra person trying to sneak in. If two people are caught by the door, lockdown will be triggered. Now, what is lockdown you may be asking? Well, I think I'll let Sven answer this one. What happens during lockdown? Uh you uh, like okay all guards get summoned and and it's basically a die <laughs> yeah so the next step is to crawl through more tunnels until you get to your next bed gate 
Once again, you click the bed, get killed, and spawn on the other side. So if you somehow manage to bring items past the first gate, there's now another one just in case. You're now at the final stage. You drop down the tunnel where you can select one of four cells, north, east, south, or west. Once you choose, you set your spawn and get killed, where you will then end up in the cell. But before all of that, you have to take a right. Unlike me, who went the wrong way, and then had the audacity to tell the guard he was taking too long, opening the door I wasn't even supposed to be at. But once I made it through all of that, I was finally locked up in Gaia's vault. And now that I know how this prison works, I can finally try to find a way to escape. If you still don't get how insane this prison really is, let me show you a couple of things. The prison cell is made of infinitely regenerating cobblestone, meaning you can't break through the cell in time before it refills. Okay, so the fastest pickaxe in Minecraft is efficiency 5, but let's say I somehow got an efficiency 1000 pickaxe. Surely this would be easy, right? What? Yeah, you can't even try. For comparison, this is what should have happened. And unlike other prisons where you can mine the block, it would just take you a long time, you can't even try to mine it in this one. But why? Well, it's because of those end crystals, remember? You can't break or place anything near them, and the whole cell is filled with them. And if you're instead planning to escape before you get to the cell, know the glass between you and the guard is protected by a netherite barrier that gets shut down the moment you try to break through. Along with that, you literally move slower than a grandma, while the guards have boots that allow them to zoom through. And even if you somehow broke into the guards room, all the controls require a key card, meaning you can't even use them anyway. I'm sure now you understand how good this prison really is. I mean, in my opinion, this is the best one ever made so far. But despite that, I still found a way to escape it. But before anything, I came across another problem. The prison was split into three versions. Version 1, 2, and 3. The reason for this is because whenever someone found an escape, they patched it and made a newer version. So now the prison has three variants, each more advanced and difficult than the last. The goal is to escape the current version, the third, but I decided it'd be best if we worked our way up, starting with the easiest, version 1. What I did was ignite the main portal and purposely get caught in the trapped portal, where I would use TNT to break these dispensers and mine my way to this tunnel. At the end of it, I will ender pull glyphs through this tunnel of ender chests. I don't know why these are here or what they're used for, but I'm not complaining. Once I get to the top, I will glitch into one of the ceiling tunnels, where I will then pass through the mine through the cell. Once I make it, I will drop the prisoner some water for them to swim up into the tunnel with me. We will then go all the way back and stop by to mine into the portal control room, where you can mine this block to go down and activate it yourself without a key card. Because, and I'm not lying when I say this, the hoppers have a copy of the key card that you can just take to use to activate the controls. I'll turn off the trap portal and head back. I will then give the prisoner a water bucket so they can wait and destroy the trap portal so I can exit through the main portal. I'll then set up an ender pearl stasis chamber and switch positions with the prisoner so when they get out they can deactivate the chamber and teleport me out, letting us both out of the prison successfully. Now, as cool as that escape may be, it's impossible. Maybe you could pull it off? but it's because there's a lot of factors to it. There's the crazy amount of mining, the risk of getting chug man, and the main reason is the fact that they patched it before I even had a chance to show it. Version 2 was released and they had blocked the first redstone tunnel, which completely ruined my plan. So I basically had to scrap that whole idea, but I wasn't going to give up that easily. Instead, I decided to move on to escape version 2. Now, I didn't find a way but what I did find was someone who did. You see, I was going to try to do it on my own, but I came across a person by the name of Front and saw that they had already escaped with the approval of Sin Sven. This isn't my video, so I'm not gonna show a lot. I'll link the video in my description, go check it out. But basically, they use a contraption that can break bedrock and they use an elytra to fly under the whole prison and enderpearl glitch through the bedrock up to the cell. They then blow up the prisoner's bed and shoot harming potions for the prisoner to kill themselves, making them respawn outside of the prison. That's about it. As short as it was, the escape was actually approved as valid by Sven, but best believe it was patched in the newest version. I mean, it seems like no matter what you did, it was just going to get patched in the next version. It's like, the only way to win is to find an escape that can't ever be patched. So in an attempt to do that, I came up with a little plan I like to call bed fake. Where basically you go through all the prison process normally, you know, the bed gates, the tunnels, the kill checks, but once you get to the final stage where you sleep in the bed so you can spawn in the cell, you fake it by punching it. 
the guards can't tell if you slept or not. They'd assume you did and kill you, and your spawn would be obstructed because they close off all previous bed gates. Meaning when they kill you, instead of spawning in the cell, you will spawn outside of the prison. Escaping version 3 in a way that can't be fixed. However, when I showed Sven this, he disagreed with me, saying that they'd just wait for me at World of Spawn. Which is true, but here's what I have to say. He approved of Franz's escape method, which also ends up at World of Spawn. So if his escape is valid, then technically mine is too, since we both end up at the same place. But fine, if that isn't going to count, then I have one final trick on my sleeve. And if this doesn't work, then I don't know what will. And so, here's my plan to escape Gaia's vault once and for all. You see, there's still one thing I've yet to cover. It's one of the prison's best features, the Chunk Band Machine. A machine that's capable of, like the name says, banning you. It works by constantly dispensing a shulker box full of books that are filled with advanced characters. The game can't process that much data, so when a player steps into its radius, they get banned forever. So on top of everything else I said about this prison, there's also a chunk ban border around it that will ban anyone that tries to trespass it. This is important, because these machines will also be the exact reason we escape. You see, I was talking to Sven about how this prison would work in an actual server. And from what I heard, it seems that this prison was built for an SMP. He also told me how the guards will be on shift and will be getting paid well to work. Along with that, they will be able to take breaks to go out in the real Minecraft world. However, this is where the chunk band machines step in. Because as I'm locked in the prison, my friends will surround the prison in their own chunk band machines. Because just like how they can't enter the prison because of the chunk bands, the guards won't be able to leave the prison because of our chunk bands. Meaning the guards would be stuck with me in the prison for ever. They can't leave. They can't go see their family or friends or go normally live in the SMP like you're supposed to. They would be stuck working at an infinite job in the prison and at some point they won't want to work anymore. Even if they got paid a lot, they still wouldn't because it doesn't matter how much you pay them. There wouldn't be a point if you can't even use it. Like, if they got paid diamonds, for example, where would they go use them? On the other corner of the prison? You can't keep the guards working for you forever. They'll want to leave, and the only way I'll let them go is if they let me go. So either they set me free, or get trapped forever in what is basically my prison now. The guards are now my prisoners. Look, I get that this isn't an ordinary escape, but I can't do anything else because they'll just fix it and make a new version, patching my old method. Every time someone escapes, the prison gets a new update fixing it. The cycle will only break when they can't fix the prison anymore. The only way I can truly win is to make the guards let me go themselves because you can't fix that in a new version. When I first told Scenes Men, he denied the offer, saying that they could just escape the chunk bands, or if anything, the guards would be willing to work here forever. Which means I for sure won't get his seal of approval, but I mean, here's why they'd have to let me free. Look, if we chunk band all around the prison, including the nether, you can't escape. Especially not in that clustered prison with mining fatigue, you can't. And if you really think the guards would be willing to work here forever, really? Do you really think the guards would want to live in this their entire life? I mean, yeah, it's a redstone masterpiece, but the tight tunnels, waterways, tubes, and constant soggy pants? Who would want to live here? Even so, what's it to you? If the guards don't let me out, then what would be the difference between the guards and the prisoner? The guards would have no more freedom than what the prisoner has. We're both going to rot in this prison forever. Because if I can't leave, then neither can you. And trust me when I say those chunk band machines aren't going down until I'm out of here. So, what's the decision? Are you gonna let me free or be stuck in here with me for the rest of our lives? And just like that, I would have escaped Gaia's Vault version 3 in a way that can't ever be fixed. Dumb I can't believe you really fell for that. Come on, you know I don't have friends.